Let's look at last night's Megmillion draw. Uh, uh, I mean, Powerball draw. And uh, let's see what happened. But before we get started, let's not lose hope and let's continue to go uh, to go through this crisis. And so far, it's not over yet because a lot of states has an infection going up. So let's not lose hope. And also, please do subscribe, donate, share, and like my video. Also, use the close, uh, close caption button. And remember, nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. And please do subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And for any game prediction or request, email me at hyper underscore linkster at yahoo.com for any game prediction. I do private predictions for any game, for any stage of country. For example, pick three, pick four, Mega Man, Powerball, Euro Man, Mega Ziana, Cash 5, and any other game I didn't mention. You can ask me for those games also. And remember, diesel system is important. Having the right diesel format will help. Remember, the blue box numbers are not random numbers. They are numbers formatted using the breakdown. You have the breakdown, you have the, no, you have the numbers. All those numbers are in the breakdown. And when you place number in the blue box, please don't place random numbers. Place numbers using the breakdown. And those numbers that are not in these can be formatted in the blue, bo blue, blue box or the box, depending on which Deezer you use. Either red deezer or the, 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 the normal deezer will be using blue box, box or purple box, depending on how you want to call those numbers. And last night, nothing was bad. Why? Because two of the pairs came from the trio. So the code didn't come yet, but the Codista pair and the Codista trio did come. The, the code didn't come, the secret code didn't come last night. The Codista didn't come last night. The Codista pair and the Codista trio did come last night. I was amazed by that. They formed two double numbers, two double numbers. And as you can see, it does help knowing what the code the Codisa, the Codisa pair, and the Codisa trio is. And you can learn my system. It goes on part one, part uh, 18. Learn the system. You learn the system. When you learn the system, you're going to hit numbers. It's not that hard. Now, the game plan is to focus on predicting the trio. Once you predict the trio, you might want to use those trios on each line or some of the lines. Not all lines can have the trio. Maybe they have the code and the pair, or the code and the trio, or the pair and the trio. You, you mix it up, but if it's so competent that it will come like last night, it did come. And then you can have the code, the pair, and the trio on all lines. So if it comes out like last night, you're gonna have all numbers going down at least three times per line. And uh, that's look like uh, last night's uh, Powerball. It was 16, 25, 36, 44, and 55. Now let's look at the numbers. Now if you look at the numbers, 16 wasn't the first invincible number. 16 wasn't the first invincible number. So the 16 hasn't been in the right spot. Now 25 was the the pair, I think. Yeah, 25 was the pair, and it was the second invincible number predicted. Second ball predicted was 25. No, 36, 36, then 44. 44 was a tricky number. 44 would have been not been drawn, but 44 had been drawn. But 55 was the trio as we predicted. 14 was the fifth top mega ball. And 55 was should be 
was predicted as the fourth ball, but it came fifth ball. So if 55 was were moved from the fifth ball to the fourth ball, the sixth ball would have from would have been 56 to 69, and therefore could have matched more numbers. So now the tricky part is knowing the first and fifth invisible number is is the crucial part. Now, how what you do? You place the trio according to the invisible spot. So if the trio is not in the invisible spot, or the pair, or the code is not in any of the invisible spot, then you place them to, accordingly to wherever the other numbers are in the right spot. So for instance, 25 was the second invisible number. There we go. Now if you have chosen 25 as a second invisible number, 25, when you look at the invisible chart, for last night, for last night only, you're gonna see 25 in the second spot. So place that in the second spot. Not in the third spot, not in the first spot. 25 should be in the second ball. Do not place the 25 in the third spot. That's how you play my system. Knowing which ball is in the right spot would give you an advantage because if you play 25 in the third ball, you have to pick two numbers below 25. And therefore, no number below 25. Two times, only one number was below 25, 16. So last night, I was in the upper hand having 25 in the second spot. Now 16 would be below 25 and 36 would be above 25. So knowing the first invisible number, second, third, and fourth invisible number do help. You don't need the fifth invisible number. 40, 55 should be, not surprisingly, could have been in the fifth ball also, but it was mostly drawn in the fourth spot. Fourth invisible number, not as the fifth invisible number. So, I would have gotten my upper hand if 55 was joined the fourth ball last night. And as you can see, the playable numbers were 25 and 55 only. Non playable number 16, 36, and 44 was both neutral numbers. They were neutral numbers. Again, neutral numbers do get drawn play. Neutral numbers uh, 16 was not supposed to come because it was not playable number, but they had to draw it. Now, 16 wasn't in, uh, wasn't in any of the quadrant, but 25, 25 was surprisingly. I know it had to come, so that's why I placed it in the blue box in quarter two and four. It was not in the visa, but it was in the blue box or the purple box. And 36 was in quadrant two. 44, 44 again was in the blue box in quadrant two. And 55 also in quadrant two and four in between quadrants. So three again, yet, yet again, how do we know what number to place in the blue box? Call the breakdown again. Three blue box number 